Yeah, you know, I, I'm really impressed. And I would say coming into the season, and I've mentioned this to you before, Matt, you know, I covered three Boise State games uh, in 2019, so I had a good feel for Coach Harson um, and just sort of the culture that he wants to implement and state, and I do feel like Auburn is rallying behind that. And, you know, I think it shows up, even just the way he handles business. Um, you know, I was even talking to my colleague at AL.com, Laura Goldman, and she had told me, and of course, you know, I'm not on campus there at Auburn, so I don't know how the post-game stuff is going, but like she told me that one of the things that, you know, if you're a media member, you probably don't like it too well, but, you know, it takes him upwards of an hour to finish up with the game, go in the locker room, talk to the guys. Apparently, he pulls guys out individually, talks to them individually, then he goes and takes a shower, then he comes out and meets with the media, and that's not something a lot of coaches do, right? You have that 10-minute cooling-off period. And then it's time, it's time to meet with the media. And then all that stuff kind of takes place afterwards. And so, you know, I think that's different about him. And what's being said in that locker room, obviously, we don't know. But I would say that there's just a level of an intensity and something that he brings to the table that's, that's, that's different. And it seems to be that there's a lot of buy-in. It seems to be there's a buy-in from the team. And, you know, obviously they didn't get the win against Penn State, but it was kind of right there in front of them. And it wasn't like a moral a moral victory, like, oh, we kind of did some things well. No, we should have won that game. And then, of course, you know, the Georgia game, that, that that's a tough one. I mean, you, br- you bring the number one team in the country in. And I think that's what impressed me the most is you get beat up against the Georgia team, a tough physical football team. And then you go do what you did on the road against an Arkansas team that we have seen show so much improvement, a team that I was high on coming into the season and have seen those glimpses. Obviously, they haven't been able to finish and put it away. We saw that against Ole Miss when they weren't able to to get the two-point conversion. But I think Auburn tends to be an emotional team and has been an emotional team and wears their emotions on their sleeves and sometimes it can get the best of them. I'm impressed why Auburn has responded and, and, and played to their advantages with that and, and in many ways used their emotion in a positive way and kind of just, you know, continued to grind, continued to get better.